You have a new business partner. Tariq St. Patrick. Someone who can represent Stansfield properly. You're not the only one with secrets. We about to open shop. Trap. I know you're selling out there to pay. You need to go get a gun to protect yourself. This case came back on you. I can control anybody, Tariq. When you know what someone wants, you give it to them or you take it away. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love power, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like the video, and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now, today, we're going to be talking about Power Book 2 Ghost Episode 4. This is the What to Expect video for Episode 4, based off the trailer that they put out. Now, the description for Episode 4 reads, After Monet agrees to do business with him, Tariq initiates his play, to control the drug market on campus while insulating his and Monet's involvement. Um, that will be the key elements of this next episode. Your boy Tariq will finally be working with Monet. He's finally going to be pushing her weight on this college campus. It's about to go down. It's very serious. Um, at the same time, he has no room for mistakes because if he messes up, he can end up being killed off or his mother. So, your boy Tariq is definitely going to try his best to make it work. Now, what did we see in this trailer? So, we can expect to see your girl Monet. And Monet, based off this trailer, is introducing Tariq, telling everybody we have a new business partner. So now, they say hi to family. is going to be like, okay, we're working with Tariq. I want to know what's going to happen with Tariq and Kane, Drew, and you know his relationship with Zeke now as well as Diana because now he's officially working with them how will their relationships change I got a feeling it's going to be a little bit different um I believe he will be watched more especially by Kane and you already know Monet is definitely going to keep her eyes on him at all times but Tariq he's trying to prove himself at this college campus he probably feels that he's on top of the world now because he made a deal with Monet. Now, in the trailer, it seems like your boy Jabari needs some students to represent the school, maybe at some type of event or, you know, some type of challenge or whatever. Um, and of course, it looks like your girl Lauren is going to be a part of that. And it seems like Tariq also wants to join the club and help represent his school. We're going to find out exactly what this is in this next episode. I believe that Tariq and Lauren's relationship is going to get closer down the line. Now, in this trailer, your girl Lauren says you're not the only one with secrets. So I want to know exactly what Lauren is hiding. What else is it about Lauren that we do not know? Eventually, it's going to come out because she's not all good. Trust me, she is not all good. And eventually, she will be exposed and we will know her background. Now, also in this trailer, Tariq was telling Lauren we can switch. So you guys let me know. What do you think these two are going to be switching? Hmm. That's a good question to ask, but I'm eager to see how these two work together in this next episode and how their relationship, you know, is going to build from this. Now, also on the episode, we've seen a stack of money. Could this be Tariq giving Davis McLean his money? Could it be Tariq, you know, selling, you know, and collecting money from other people? Who really knows? But we do know that your boy Tariq definitely has to pay off Davis McLean and, you know, help his mother get out. Now... We did see in this trailer, we saw Tariq telling Brayden that, look, you know, we pretty much, it's about to go down. You know, he's pretty much just telling Brayden, look, the plan is about to go through. So Tariq will be pushing this weight, but yes, he will have the help of Brayden. And I believe Brayden is definitely going to step up in this next episode. Based off this trailer, your boy Brayden is going to be getting into some physical issues and we definitely going to talk more about that but Braden is definitely hyped up for this a lot of people say Braden is going to turn on Tariq but his description says that he's very loyal so we're going to see how that all plays out now we see this guy right here it could be a new client um for Tariq he seems kind of happy you know he seems kind of a little bit too happy but he's happy to see Tariq or whatever so maybe this is a new client somebody that Tariq can have a connection with could use in the future we got to wait and see how it all plays out. Now, 
We also saw in this trailer Tasha telling Tariq, I know you're selling drugs. Because we know in the last episode, Lorenzo called her and told her about Tariq working with him. Um, Tasha tells Tariq, you need to get a gun. And Tariq should have probably already had protection, especially if he's going to be working with the Tejada's family. Um, he definitely needs some protection um, on him. And Tasha, she's trying to help the kid out. But this is what he wants to do. Tariq is going to figure out a way probably to mess up but as i told you guys in my recap Tariq has to be more smarter he has to be highly aware what he's dealing with so most definitely he's going to get protection he's going to have a gun on him the thing is he cannot risk being caught and he has to watch his surroundings at all time um having Braden with him on that college campus is something that he needs because we already know Braden in his last name carries weight the Weston last name carries weight on that campus, so he needs to have Braden with him. Now, as I told you guys, I've been telling you guys for weeks that Tariq and your boy Drew will be linking up. I told you guys that Tariq is going to introduce Drew to the college life because he's an artist at day, a drug lord at night. But when he's introduced to this college life from Tariq, things are going to change. And also, we know that Drew... He's going to have a connection with one of Zeke's basketball players. So we're going to see how that all plays out. But Drew is definitely on this campus and he's ready to throw down. He's, re he's ready to have fun. And I can't wait to see how that all plays out. We see a document right here now. It looks like this is Tariq is laying this document out. Who knows? Could it be a paper? Could it be, you know, something that has to do with court? We got to wait and see how this plays out. But I believe that's definitely Tariq laying that down. And after that, they show your boy Davis McLean. And Davis McLean is very pissed off. He's telling your boy, Rashad Old Dog Tate, that some charges have been brought back up. Now, Rashad Tate is known for doing dirty stuff. I mean, y'all saw him in power. Y'all saw exactly what Rashad Tate is capable of. So expect him to be back, back on his dirt back on his grind and we talking about Rashad Tate he's going to figure out somehow some way to bury with whatever he's going to go through um that's because that's exactly what he does he's a winner so Rashad Tate would definitely get through this no matter what and I'm expecting to see his character and hopefully we see some good scenes at your boy Rashad Tate now Tariq he's running is it me or is your boy Tariq always running he's always late to something I mean the dude can't be on time for nothing He's doing entirely too much um, on this campus and trying to sell drugs and, you know, help his mother out. He's doing a lot, right? But I'm going to tell you what he is not doing enough, and that's clapping cheeks. So your boy Tariq is definitely going to press that attack. He's going to be, you know, making out with your girl Diana. Now, I want to know how deep this is going to get. What is Monet going to think when she finds out about this? What is Lauren going to think about Diana? Hmm. Those are questions that we have to ask, and eventually it will be answered soon. Monet, she doesn't like Tariq anyway. She's working with him because it's just business. But I can tell you right now, she probably doesn't want Diana doing anything with Tariq. But at the same time, I wouldn't be surprised if she told Diana to try to get any dirt on him that she can. Now, as I told you guys earlier, your boy Brayden, he's going to get into it. A fight. It seems like it's like a party or whatever. Who really knows? But some guys is running their mouth. Braden, he's throwing hands. And the guy that actually plays um, Braden in real life, he can actually box, man. He, if you follow him on Instagram, um, he actually be throwing his hands training all the time. So this scene right here probably was very fun for him to do. He's laying people out. I want to see your boy Tariq throw some hands. Your boy Braden got hands. Let's see Tariq throw them hands. Now, the trailer ends off with Monet telling Tariq, look, I control everything. You know what I'm saying? Um, I can give you what you want or I can take it away. Um, Monet is definitely um, at the top. She's a queen pin. She's letting Tariq know who is in control, but she can never underestimate him. They show her talking to Tariq, telling him this, and then they show Tasha because we already know, he, you know, pretty much Monet can control Tariq and Tasha because she's in there and she got this guy right here and he's going to continue to watch Tasha and if Tasha slips up if Tariq slips up boom it's over so they're going to use this against Tariq 
um, let letting him know that she's probably going to be in some type of trouble. Um, and also, you already know if Tariq gets in some type of trouble, Tasha would definitely know about it. And she's going to have a lot of fear, a lot of fear. But Monet, she's going to be stepping up a whole lot. And I got a feeling in order for Monet to fully run this game, she has to get rid of Lorenzo. We saw in the last episode who was running things. Yes, Monet is running things out you know, on the streets because Lorenzo was locked up. But even though he's locked up, remember, Monet had to call him to get the official word on what to do with, um, you know, the guy from GTG. Of course, she had to make that call to get the confirmation on what they need to do. So it seems like Lorenzo has a lot of power and he's kind of throwing it in her face, letting her know that he doesn't really like what she's doing. So I got a feeling that your girl Monet, eventually she's going to make her decision to, you know, plot and plan, maybe take out Lorenzo. It all depends on how serious this gets. But one thing about Monet is this. She says she needs the Tejada name. It offers her protection. So we're going to see how far that goes and exactly what she's planning on doing. But you guys let me know. What do you think is going to happen in episode four? I think it's going to be a very explosive episode. I can't wait to see it. Um, Power Book 2 Ghost has been doing very good in my opinion. And I can't wait to see what's next. But um, you got to leave your, your theories, your comments. Leave it all down below. Keep supporting your boy. And I will continue to bring you more Power Book 2 Ghost content in the future. But let me get on out of here, man. It's your boy Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.